Hi, Carl. Great to catch up with you on the range again yesterday and further the work on your swing. Building on last session, we still need to continue to work on our ability to keep the hands quiet through the impact. We were getting a few quick hooks again yesterday, partly because you were flipping it, you could feel the sort of drop kick effect, you could be hitting the ground behind the ball and the ball was going left. So there's a definite link between you getting rid of this angle here through impact and the ball going left. Having said that, we are looking on reflection a little bit strong in the right hand grip we could do with just getting that right hand over a little bit more so that we can't see when viewed from face on the left thumb so we need to get that right hand over a little bit more so that the v form between the thumb and index finger is pointing between the chin and the right shoulder having said that i want to work a little bit further on your leg action also if we take a little look here at grant white and we put a line down from his left knee we're going to see that in the first move away from the golf ball the left knee doesn't work inwards the left knee works more out towards us as we're looking at the screen from about halfway back the left knee now starts to work in towards the right knee that's allowing him to stay much more centered on the backswing and as a result requires much less work to get back to the ball in the downswing from there he can drive forward properly and maintain his angles between particularly between the left arm and the shaft of the golf club what we see with yourself is a left knee that is moving in towards the right a little bit a little bit too quickly as a result the lower body is drifting off away from the target so there's a touch of a sway in the hips though that's moving our centers off the ball that's making it quite easy now to hit the ground behind the ball and now on the way down we've got to work so hard to get back into that left side that we're starting to lose all the angles and you can see the very early release you're dumping all your angles very very early and usually what happens with a better player when we dump the angles as early as we do so when we get rid of the angle between the shaft and the forearm the head falls back as the player tries to tilt behind the ball coming into impact so really a little bit of improvement on your grip just to tweak the a little bit more focus on that left knee and what it's doing during the takeaway but predominantly keep working on that quiet position through the hitting area we can see here this guy as he's coming into the hitting area no flipping of the hands whatsoever very very quiet with the hands and that in turn is going to get that ball starting up the right more often and not overdrawing and also creating a much more solid strike. Good luck with it, keep up the hard work and I'll speak to you again in a few weeks time. Well done.